Hello po! Nandito na naman po ako. Um, ang susunod na kakainin po natin ay yung sopas. Okay? That's one. The soup. Binigay po sa akin ito ni uh, Rose naman po. Rose Myrna. So, si Rose Myrna po ay landlady ko. Okay? So, nagbigay po siya. Look at the Look at the soup. Meron siyang carrots. Meron siyang vegetables. Tingnan po natin kung yung ginawa niya. Tapos may cream po siya. I don't know kung ano ito. Milk or what. Mm. Mag, mag, hindi ko pa kasi ako marunong mag... <laughs> Magluto-luto ng ganyan. So, pero thank God. Ang dami po yung mga... Ang daming talents ang Filipinos din po ba? Lalo na yung mga nasa abroad. Ganyan. Ang dami nilang... Ang daming mga discoveries. Kung minsan, kahit hindi sila marunong magluto, pag nandito sila, nadidiscover nila, meron pala silang skill. At more than a chef pa. Okay? Right. Si Rose po marunong magluto po yan, especially sa Arabic food. Okay? Uh, Nakataste na po ako ng mga, mga niluto niya. By the way, on my screen, this is still Mommy Dibs. That is my channel po, YouTube channel. Wonderful Mommy Debs po. Okay? Right. Uh, ngayon naman, i-share ko ang, 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 ang <laughs> nabubulol po ako. I-share ko naman po about sopas. Bakit po na ang mga Filipinos mahilig din sa sopas? Alam niyo ang mga, ang food ng Filipino very interesting. Dahil, may mga may mga countries na pwede mong sabihin ito lang yung palagi nilang uh, kinakain, di ba? May mga variety pero uh, parang pare-pareho yung yung ano niya, yung yung lasa parang ganun, but they just come in different forms. Pero sa atin, ang dami. Ang daming tayo mga food. Kaya meron akong um Boss noon, I would say a manager of the school, na sinasabi niya na, Oh, I like your Filipino cuisines. Sabi ko, which one? Di ba? Kasi pag sinabi Filipino food, the first thing that comes to my mind, because I'm a Filipino, then pinakbit. Alright? Or adobo. Ganon. So, yun, chicken adobo. So, yun. Yung dalawa na yun. And ngayon, so passport. Um, <clears throat> tapos mga, yun nga sabi ko kanina about noodles and all. But, bago po natin pag-usapan about the noodles, yung kagawian po natin, mag-open po tayo ng, mag-crack po tayo ng, ng walnuts. Diba? Dalawang walnuts sa isang araw. Hindi po ba? Ayan. Tapos, apat na, apat na dried apricots ang kakainin po natin. So, mag-crack po tayo ng isa pa and then kain po tayo. While na nag discuss po tayo about sopas. There you go. Yung mga hindi po nakapanood ng aking video about about walnuts, you have to eat two walnuts every day puro para po sa vitamin E, vitamin um, I forgot. Okay. Search na lang po doon sa <laughs> But it's about for immune system, anti-cancer, and all of that, yeah? Pag sinabi mo anti-cancer, nandun na lahat po yun, di ba? So, mag-increase ng immune system natin against mga hindi ka nais-nais na sakit. Pag sinabi mo anti-cancer, anti-oxidant, nandun na po lahat, okay? Ibig sabihin, it's good for the health, but you have only to, you have to take only like two every single day. So that's the first one. I'm consuming the second one. Fresh from the pod pot, which is nice, organic, unprocessed. You put a touch, you will not am. Ako po ang open dried push up. However, kung anong process ng pag-dry nila, sun-dried or oven-dried, doesn't matter. So, as long as organic po talaga. 
and process. You have to eat too. The couple will not promote your nest, but you don't put it on your dried apricots and your dried walnuts. Nakaka, nakaka, dug dug po sa immune system natin. Right. Nakainin ko po yung tatlong apricot mamaya. Actually, nakaisa na po ako kanina. You just have to have a strong teeth. Hindi na gamit ko po yung mga molars ko. Kasi pag dito, medyo mahina na po. Dahil ilang beses na pong nagalaw yung aking ipin. And magchapo tayo. Wow! Alright, balik po tayo sa sopas. Ano po ba yung sopas na yan? Bakit may sopas tayo? At very interesting po ang sopas ng Filipinos. Di ba po? Ito po ang sabi dito. Sopas is a Filipino macaroni soup made with elbow macaroni. Elbow macaroni po ba itong ginamit ni Miss Rose? Yeah. Right. Various vegetables. Tama nga po. Meron siyang green, meron siyang green vegetables, which is the cabbage, meron siyang carrots. And I do not know if there are some other vegetables that had already been. Celery, I guess, is there as well. Onion, of course. And then, and meat, usually chicken, which is true. Talaga naman si Miss Rose, oo, talagang within the, within the standards talaga si Miss Rose Marina, di ba? In a creamy broth with evaporated milk. Yeah, it's true. All right. It is regarded as a comfort food in the Philippines and is typically eaten during breakfast, cold weather, or served with sick people. With, or served to sick people. Oh, my God. But anyway, if you're not sick and you're eating that, it means... It wants to strengthen your, your body, yeah? So, sick, kasi bakit tayo nabibigay sa mga sick people? To strengthen, to strengthen their body, di ba? Yung physical, uh, physical aspect nila. So, dapat i-strengthen natin to give energy. Kasi energy giving po yung pasta. Nonetheless, lahat po nang sinabi dito, eh, nandun dun sa menu ni Miss Rose. It's interesting, isn't it? The dish is the Filipino version of the American chicken noodle soup introduced during the American colonial period of the Philippines. The, simply, the name simply means soup in Tagalog from Spanish sopa. Bakit meron po tayong Spanish dyan? Kasi po, we were colonized by the Spaniards for 300 years. Kaya po yung mga piliyado natin, gaya ko, Domingo, that is Sunday in Philippines. Or, De Los Santos, that's also my uh, family in the mother's side, uh, in the mother's side um, name, family name. De Los Santos is all for all of the saints, right? And then sa father's side ko, Domingo, so that is Sunday. Tapos, um... Domingo de los Santos Domingo. Um, yeah, and my sister is Moreno. Moreno is about the complexion, right? So these are all Spanish, Spanish names. And I am married to a Lagundi. So Lagundi is a kind of a plant. It's a, um, it's a medicinal plant, and that is for coughing and all, yeah? Right. Sabi dito, sopas is relatively easy to make. The meat is boiled first until tender. Sopas usually use chicken, but not also, but can also use beef or more rarely diced pork or even turkey. But wala po kasing uh, ano dito yung mga ganong yung diced pork. From that time na lumabas ako from Malaysia, I was in Malaysia for eight months. That that was twenty thirteen. 2011, 2012 to 2013, eight months pa ako doon. 
para na wash off po yung aking palates with um, with pork kasi Muslim country din po yun. And then when I came here, the more walang pork. Pero meron po isang meron po isang shop dito. Ang pangalan is um, Alfair. Yeah, Alfair I guess. Yun meron po silang non-Muslim section. So nandun po yung mga hot dogs, mga ham made from pork. Um tender juicy hot dog yeah tapos um meron silang mga uh, yung knuckles ng baboy ganun it's not from philippines they're from i think africa and other countries na uh, allowed ang pork yun po meron naman provision for for pork eaters ganun kaya lang naka separate po kasi nga because of religion di po ba i don't like to talk about that but i'm just saying that Pork is also available dito po sa amin. Kaya depende na po sa iyo kung bibili ka or ano. Uh, pero sa akin parang matagal na rin po na hindi ako kumakain ng ganun. So chicken na lang po ako talaga. Yeah. Anyway, uh, bakit po ako kumakain ng, ng chicken all the time hindi na po pork? Kasi ang layo po ng alfair. Merong alfair po dito dati, malapit sa amin. Kaya lang parang nilipat na sa ibang branch. Kasi mas maraming consumers po doon. So, yun po ang business naman, di ba? Kung saan sila pwede, syempre doon. Uh, that is business strategy. Alright, so, yun po ang history ng sopas. Ang uh, kinakain po sa breakfast, which I'm doing now. At cold din po ang season natin ngayon. What's the temperature now? Let me just check. Kung lahat eh nagkatugma-tugma. Temperature in Muscat today. Oh, it's 22. But this morning, it was so cold. I think we went down to 17, 16 degrees. Kaya na-feel ko po na medyo malamig na. Saka yung boses ko po, tingnan nyo, naiiba, di ba? Pero pwede pa rin ako mag-reach ng high note. <laughs> Maingay po ako. <clears throat> eh, hindi talaga pwede. The greatest love. Of all, wala na po talaga. Yeah. I used to sing the greatest love of all or saving my love for you, yung high high note po, ganun. Kasi nagisali po ako ng ano eh, ng choir noon, nung nasa University of St. Louis po ako, nung first year, second year, kaya exempted po ako sa PE, hindi po ako nag PE noon dahil nga nag-join ako sa Glee Club. Tapos kumanta po kami sa sa cultural center of the Philippines yon pumunta po kami may pumutok sa pip uh, may pumutok sa sanga na napipit sa isang kahoy ganun po at nasakip ng bato ng pagpak ng munting ibon dahil sa sakit tinana kaya pang lumipad at ang nangyari ay nasunog Ah, mali. Ngunit parang tao umiyak. Mamang kailpit. Di na, di na na kaya pang lumipad. I don't know. I don't know the, the lyrics anymore. But ganun po. Ang mga kanta po namin. And a lot, a lot of Filipino, Filipino songs. Wala po kasi nag-vlog pa noon. Sana na-record yun. Ewan ko kung meron kaming photos doon. Walang video. Something like that. Anyway. Ito po ang vlog ko ngayon about sopas at iba pa. <laughs> ang dami ko pong nasabi. Uh, yeah, it's a wonderful Friday. Marami po akong share. Mamaya po yung, yung kuramay. Alam niyo po yun. Uh, yung chicken feet. Kahapon nag-vlog po ako kaya naiwan ko. I didn't have much space daw sa phone ko. Dahil nasa, nasa ibang storage siya, sa internal storage. So, nilipat ko po sa SD. So, ngayon, meron na po akong enough space. Kaya, yeah, ito po. Salamat na naman po sa pakikinig. Kakainin ko na po yung sopa at saka yung spaghetti. <laughs> Salamat kay Rose Myrna, my landlady. And again, shout out din po kay Hazel Alejandro na taga Tanay Rizal. Ngayon, tama na po ako. Alright, God bless us all and have a wonderful Friday. Keep safe po. Malapit na po natin malampasan ang ating ang 
ang global struggle po natin. So, God is there protecting us. So, just be good. Just be wonderful. Like wonderful mommy devs here. Like, share, and subscribe. I love you all. Bye for now.